Today I want to give the geometric proof of 1 is equal to 2. So I want to use the geometric method to prove that this number 1 is equal to this number 2. So the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to draw the isosceles triangle. I'll draw the isosceles triangle A, B, C. So here we have the angle A, here we have angle B, and here we have angle C. And the theorem for isosceles triangle says that the base angles of isosceles triangle are equal. That is, A is equal to B. So we have A is equal to B. So we have to write the reason. Base angles of isosceles triangle. So that's the theorem we are using here. A is equal to B. So from here, we are going to multiply both sides. We'll multiply both sides we'll multiply both sides by b so if you have to do that you're going to have a times b is equal to b times b and a times b is going to give us a b which is equal to b times b is going to give us b square so the next we are going to subtract a square from both sides subtract a square from both sides of the equation from both sides of the equation so if you have to do that you are going to have something like a b minus a square which is equal to b square minus a square so the next is that you are going to factorize both sides of the equation factorize both sides of the equation so if you have to factorize the left hand side of the equation, you are going to have a into b minus a. Because if you have to look at the left hand side of the equation, we see that it is letter a that is common to both sides. So we take out a. If you take out a from a b, we are going to have only b left. And if we take out a from a square, we are going to have only a, single a left. So the next we factorize the right hand side of the equation. So this one gives us a difference of two square. And if you have to factorize the difference of two squares, we just take the difference of the terms and the sum of the two terms and close in a bracket. So the next is that we are going to divide both sides of the equation by b minus a because you can see that b minus a is common to both sides of the equation. We can have b minus a at the left hand side, we have b minus a at the right hand side. So we now divide both sides. We divide both sides by b minus a. We divide both sides by b minus a. If you have to do that, so we have something like this. Also, b minus a into b plus a. So we divide by b minus a. We divide by b minus a as well. So we cancel this, b minus a cancel like this, b minus a cancel like this. So finally we have a is equal to b plus a left. And recall that at the beginning of our derivation, we have already said that a is equal to b using the isosceles triangle theorem. So we say that a is equal to b. So in place of b, we are going to put a. So we have a is equal to so instead of writing b now, now put in a. So we have a plus a. So here we have a. So a plus a is going to give us 2a. Alright. So we can see that a is common to both sides. So we divide both sides by a. Also, divide both sides by a. If you have to do that, we have a over a is equal to 2a over a. So a cancel a is going to give us 1 and a so a we have only two left so finally we now have one to be equal to two so the fact has been proven
and this point so y is equal to 2.